going on with your YouTube? Jumping Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid, guys. So, hey, today's uh, release. Well, today is Friday, July 14th. I think that's what today is. <laughs> Anyways, we're supposed to get exclusive access for the UNC Toe. So, let me know if you guys end up getting a W for that. But if you guys checked on your local stores, some, like my local Hibbit, was doing raffles for the Dunk. Uh, Chicago splits which I was trying to tell you guys I did a video about it about a week ago I got them a little early and I was like hey these are probably one of the probably one of the best dunks to come out and not only that Saturday is the release of the Jordan 7 I forgot what it's even called I don't even know what it's called it's, it's the black and blue ones but they I right. they cool man they nice do a pickup vlog today we're in the car vlog all the way to the mall vlog almost forgot to say that but yeah we're gonna and then after we do the pickups we got to go all the way up to Detroit, Michigan, because I will be at the Michigan Sneaker Exchange in Detroit, man. I, I'm excited, man. I will have a table. It should be a good show. It's looking like it's going to be a banger. It's my first time coming out to the show. So I'm excited, man. So I hope to see you guys there if you're in the Detroit area. If you guys really want these uh, Dunk Low Jordan splits, they're just kind of random. Dunks are kind of random, you know? Like, I think JD Sports, most places like they probably were just put them on the shelves so like you wouldn't even know if they even came out because there was no raffle but like i think i don't even know anything about flex man i barely even get on flex anymore two years streak of all l's i'm just damn i just gave up on the app you know i made a new account i used wifey's account used my old account my big it just doesn't matter whatever you know it's all good though but uh you know like i said check out your local stores i'm pretty sure nike gonna be dropping them very very soon so let's go ahead and pick these things up and let's take a look at these uh uh, releases. Rock my dailies. I basically wear these things every day. Huff, SBs. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick these things up, man. Let's pick up a W. Let's go. How the times has changed. Panda dunks are now sitting, y'all. <laughs> they restock every freaking five minutes, so. Check it out, y'all. Here it is. We got like a regular, like this one, my, this is like a Jordan 6 box, y'all. Here it is. These are the. Air Jordan 7s? Are they laced up to the first eyelids now? I guess they don't lace them up on this one. But these are called the Cambrai Black Cambrai Grape. These are coming out this Saturday, which is tomorrow. Cambrai, I think that's what they're calling it. But anyways, they retail at 200. They're dropping on sneakers tomorrow. Now, it's clean, man. It's clean. Like, I, you know, the thing is about with 7s, I don't think... A lot of people actually like sevens, uh, just because sevens usually they're gonna they usually sit. But I like sevens. I don't have a lot in my collection though, but I do like sevens. This material here, which is a uh, black nubuck, a uh -oh, little factory flaw right there. Ew, a little smudgy. But you got that light blue Jumpman embroidery st stitching. You got the mountain peaks right here. If you guys didn't know, this like a the story goes on the Jordan Seven, the mountain peaks where. Uh, Jordan finally got over the hump, as, you know, when he won the championship. Obviously, he won the championship in the Jordan 6s, and then the next year, the back-to-back. -back. Anyways, got the 23 in the back here, and got the crazy design, the Air Jordan on the tongue. Got the little different designs. Every Jordan 7s, usually designs are a little different patterning on each shoe, I want to say. A little different, but... Got the, man, got that booty sock liner inside, which is pretty comfortable. But the thing is I know is about like sevens, I say go about a half size up because this here is really tight on me on all my sevens. I don't know about y'all. Maybe they fit true size with y'all. Y'all like them tight or y'all like them fitting perfect. But for me, it's always tight right around here. Anyways, looks like it's late and it's laced up on the first eyelid. So you got to lace them up yourselves. Um, nothing crazy else, but... I love the bottoms of the Jordan 7s. Look at that bottoms there. Got the traction pod, got the crazy design, the light blue, the Jumpman on the back of the heels. These are nice, man. Definitely has a little 90 vibes to it, but I'm pretty sure these will probably go on sale, unfortunately. We've seen it with almost every seven. The only seven that I can remember that sold out was probably like something that's like collab, like a trophy room. I remember those came out, but every other seven has definitely been sitting, but hey, they cool, they cool, man. They clean, cleans. Here's me W, 
You guys seen it. I already did a uh, video on these things, the split Air Jordan 1 lows. Uh, like I said, check your stores, man, if they're doing uh, maybe random restocks or raffles, whatever they're doing. It's a clean shoe. I'm just a big sucker for Chicago colorways. Some people might not be feeling them, but I'm feeling them. I like them. Something, you know, if you get was retail for like 100 bucks, something clean, something to wear for the summertime, material-wise, looks very, very nice, as you guys see. Got the tumble, tumble, tumble leather, got the split. Clean, clean shoe, and I love that aging midsole in the bottom. Some people might, like, might not like this, but it's that split, that theme with it. But yeah, dunks are kind of little, they cool, and all. they still cool, man. I still love my dunks, man. But overall, the weekend drops, we get the splits, uh, Chicago's and the Jordan 7s, y'all. And I'm pretty sure these things will probably sit potentially even go on sale depending how limited these things are who the hell is this is this chrome oh my goodness man they're just coming up with anything nowadays all right thank you thanks fam i'll pick up y'all so like i said was able to get a retail w so why not y'all why freaking not hey I think they're clean. I think these things are nice. Woo! Comment down below. Did you guys end up picking these things things up or do you guys want these things? Hey, the Nike Chicago Lowe's coming out. Hey, these things are, like I said, they're not really going for much. I think it's like made, I think these things retail at like 120 or 110. Something like that. It's 120. I just saw the receipt. Alright, it was 120. They upped the price on these things. Maybe because of leather or something like that. I mean, like I said, they're like 10, 20 bucks over retail, what they're going for. So they're not going for a crazy amount of bread, but still clean colorway. But anyways, um, hey guys, we're about to go head out or I'll meet you guys at the house here in a little bit, do some more discussions or might be on the road for Detroit. So, yo, yeah. what's going on guys? Anyways, uh, I'm here now in Detroit. I'm waiting for Joe to get here. He was supposed to land at like three something. But from his flight from Orlando to Detroit, his flight, the, the airplane ran out of gas. So right now, he's in Cleveland. They had to stop in Cleveland, get gas, <laughs> go to like a Bucky's or something. I don't know if this airplane does that. And then they're gonna fly here, then he's gonna fly here to Detroit. But anyways, um, I'm just waiting for him right now. We're probably gonna go to some sneaker shops, so I'll do some content about that. But right now, we'll still talk about the uh, dunk. Chicago splits, which is again, hey, um, I actually these things were actually sitting, well, not to say sitting, but they were pretty easy to get, in my opinion, online this morning. Um, like it was like they're on Hibbits. If you use that Apple Pay now, it was pretty easy to get, and also on JD Sports too. Like I got through the queue pretty quickly, and I was able to get them. So if you guys wanted these things, all you had to do was really try. And I think you would have got pair, got your pair. If not, if you guys end up taking the L, you know, I, I get things that happens. I'm pretty sure you can go probably some of your local areas. They might be sitting or unclaimed pairs or something like that. I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, just check your local areas. They might have pairs in stock. So they're coming out pretty soon. I'm not sure when the sneakers app or the Nike's going to drop these things, but I assume they're gonna drop these things pretty soon. But right now, all the retail, retail stores are getting these things right now. So JD Sports, Hibbits, and DTLR, and Foot Locker, all that stuff are getting these things today. And then tomorrow will be the sevens. I'm pretty sure those things are gonna sit. Like I'm pretty, like a thousand percent sure those things are not gonna sell out. They retail at $200. I believe those things are going to hit outlets or go under retail, for sure. For sure. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm here in Detroit, man, waiting for the homie Joe, and then we'll kick it, man, and then we'll go uh, enjoy the town in Detroit. Might see a special guest in the next video. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, just want to say I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below, and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at GermanChrisNIG, sometime on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. You anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jeremy Chris. Push.